Hi everybody, welcome to Hair of the Dog. This is Nicole here. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is I am going to show you how I call a session pretty quickly. Um, I know I used to be guilty of it and I'm sure many of you out there are too where you'll go through a session one at a time and reject and pick images and be like which one do I want? This one or that one? This one or that one? This one or that one? No, don't do that. You're going to waste days of your life. So what I want to show you is how I edit or um, call images in loop mode. So I just select usually six or so. I pull them up at the same time. If you want some more space, you can click over here on this little arrow. There we go. And that little arrow gives you more workspace to deal with. Let me grab my whacking pen. All right. So then I just go through, and it is really down and dirty. You are just looking at all six of them and picking, you know, one or two that you like the best. We are not getting up close to these yet. We are just going with our initial thoughts of ones that we kind of like. So again, there's by pulling them all up together, you're actually able to get a better kind of quick view and compare them really quickly and easily in your mind to see the best ones without having to spend a lot of time. It's a lot of time going back and forth trying to figure out which one is better, A or B, A or B, because that just will take way too long. So again, we pull a whole bunch up at the time, take a look at all of them, and choose. Next six. So this is our first round, and I go through pretty darn quick here. Um, if you find that you are waiting for your computer, that you know, you're pulling up these images and your computer is taking too long, then you can go up here to File. Oh, hello. Lightroom. There we go. Um, you can go to up here, Light Library, Previews, and you can either build one-to-one -one previews, which will take a little bit of time. So if you do that, hit that button and walk away, and then come back later. Or you can do build standard size previews, um, which are the ones that are in here. So if these are taking a long time, then go ahead and um, do those one-to-one -one previews. And then you should be moving pretty quick. Um, and I don't bother going in real close here. I can usually tell what's in focus and what's not on the big screen. Um, I don't bother going in super close. At this point, this is again just my first pass. So here we'll go through a couple more images here. And we're not overthinking this. This is truly just to get a quick, get the best ones quickly in there. And one of the reasons I don't like to go in and reject them now is, I mean, if there's 200 images in here, you're going to have to hit 200 buttons. <laughs> and that just takes a long time. So wouldn't you rather just go through and click like, you know, one out of five images for your favorite one? Um, here we go. Hold on a second. These require me to concentrate for a minute. Okay, that one. Um, so it just makes life a little bit easier to go a little bit faster. And I need to keep this because I need to edit out that um, light stand and also the owner. more here. We'll just do these guys and then I'll show you how I do round two of my edits. Or not my edits, I'm sorry, my calling. This is the last couple. Not this one. Okay. So that would be number one. Side note, this little guy's name is Potato and he's the cutest thing ever. Okay, sorry, back to Charlie and Grace. So um, now that we've gone through our first round uh, and I've picked out my quick and dirty favorites, I just go to flagged only down here and we'll see how many we have. Right now we have 25. This was just a super quick model session because I wanted to play with some lighting at this one location. 
Um, so this was just a, a really short session. I really only promised this client probably 15 images or so. Um, so what we need to get rid of about 10 here. So what I do now is I will pull up all the images that are similar. So like these two are pretty much exactly the same. This one's underexposed a little bit more. Oops. Too much work later, so I'm going to reject this one now. Fit. So yeah, so I'll hit X and reject it. Now, the reason I'm rejecting it now is that, say later on when I go to actually edit these and I pull it up in a full screen and I realize, oh, it's a little bit soft or, oh, I didn't miss, I didn't notice something was in there and might not be the best pick, I can then go down here to my filter and turn on just the rejected images and those are kind of like my b-roll images. I'll probably have another one very similar in there that almost made the cut instead of me having to go back to you know the 300 images from the session and go through all of those. So it has just worked really well for me to kind of streamline things and make this process go so much faster. So again we'll pull up these couple that are all pretty similar. These are exactly the same just about. We'll get rid of one of these and remember, it is our job to show the client just a couple images, uh, you know, or unique images. We don't want to show the client 8,000 images that are the same. Like these two, look, the dog's in the same exact pose. I like the composition of this one with more sky, so we're going to get rid of this one. I like the on, we'll leave it. It's kind of fun. And then, so here's a couple of the two of them together. I like that they're both looking sideways, so I'm going to get rid of this one with them kind of looking sideways. I like that they're both looking at me in both of these, but I like the composition of this one a little bit better because you don't see that little lip of the fountain, so that one goes away. And then since I already have two good ones for the two of them, that one goes away too. And then we'll move on down to these. Looking at these two are pretty similar. I probably would not show the client both of these. I like this guy better than this one. I like his ears a little bit better than this one. We're going to go get rid of that. And everybody looks better there. We're going to get rid of that one. This one is the one we kept here. This one I'm just going to use because I'll, you know, mesh those two together in post to get rid of those distractions. And here, we will keep all of these. Actually, we're going to get rid of this one since I don't have one of glory. All right, so that's it. We're down to 16 images, which is perfect. So I call that, and I don't know how long it's been, 10 minutes. And then I would just go through and edit real quick, and then these will be ready to show the client. Um, as a little side note, I do not get rid of distractions until orders, or excuse me, until images are ordered. So like these images right here with the leashes, I would just let the owner know any final ordered image of those are going to come out. Um, but I don't spend the time to do that before they've ordered the images um, because I just don't want to waste my time doing that. Um, so yeah, so I hope that helps you today. I hope that helps you call your images a little bit faster. So again, the less time you spend behind the computer is the more time you get to spend actually enjoying your personal life. So that is um, a good thing to do. Thanks so much for swinging by the Hair of the Dog blog, and we'll see you soon.